Hundreds of marriage equality supporters gathered at Boston City Hall Tuesday, the same day at the nation's highest court began hearing arguments. A variety of speakers spoke on behalf of gay rights. So today, I am honored to stand with you and with families all across Massachusetts and our country in calling for the Supreme Court to extend the right of marriage equality to all Americans and to finally end this era of discrimination. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you all for being Boston Mayor Tom Menino said he was proud on the city and the state's record of supporting gay and lesbian rights to marry. Well, I think, uh, you know, we're a city of equality. That's why when the first uh, issue came up, we're the first city in America to allow people to get married. And uh, I'll always support that issue of uh, equality for all. That's what America is built on. That was Boston. That's how I live is my, my political uh, 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 statement is that we're here to make sure everyone has, has equality, no matter if they're straight, gay, or whatever they may be. That's what Boston's all about. Ralliers came with signs and flags, expressing that it was time for a change. I've been involved in the LGBT community for a while now. I'm a straight ally, and it's just ridiculous that in 2013, we still don't have uh, equality under the law for uh, gay and lesbian couples and uh, for transgender people. Neil Manahan teaches Boston's gay and lesbian youth that the federal government must act. The marriage issue in Massachusetts, I think we've arrived at. The problem is, is that it's not recognized in the federal government. So. You know, that's what this case is about, and that's why it's so important. Um, I'm in a same-sex marriage, and my taxes uh, are treated differently and run differently. My federal rights are differently. The Obama administration has not enforced the Defense of Marriage Act. The Supreme Court takes up the issue. The ruling is not expected until June. In Boston, Mike Neff for the Boston University News Service.